Texas and today I'm out working on the woodshed again. Uh, I've got two uh, posts feet in the back over here. One has a stake sticking out of it. One's behind you to your left. This morning I put in this uh, uh, this column here. This is going to be the, uh, the front right foot. I've got a little lid on it uh, to keep water from pooling in there if it happens to rain tonight. We don't have a forecast of rain but just in case. Uh, and I've got uh, the earth kind of packed in around it. Uh, down here, I'm working on the front left foot, and uh, obviously, uh, you know, I've got something going on here. Uh, there's the uh, white pine here. Uh, I, I knew that this was going to be a bit of a challenge uh, over here, but uh, it hasn't been too bad. There's one root that was about that thick, uh, about, uh, you know, four or five inches around, uh, going right through the middle of where I needed to put the column, which is right here, and it'll probably come up to a height of, of there or so. So what I've been doing, obviously, is trying to burn away the, uh, the root there. Uh, roots are always a little, a little tricky because, uh, you know, you can't just dig through them with a shovel. I mean, you know, thin little roots, uh, you can cut right through with a shovel, but uh, big roots, I mean, you can chip at them a little bit, but when they're really big, you're not going to get through them with a shovel. A chainsaw uh, goes through roots all right, but you really have to dig uh, around the area quite a bit. And, uh, you know, there's always dirt uh, even impregnated inside of the root. It's not great for your chainsaw. Uh, you can use an axe. I've been using an axe uh, for some things today. Uh, and this is a regular axe. You, if you've seen my videos where I talk about wood splitting, it's not the wood splitting mall that has the kind of fluted things on the side. Just a regular axe. I've been using this to kind of chop through some stuff, but it's hard to chop through a root that's like down inside of a hole. It's hard to get like a swing in there. And uh, this is a very passive way to, to take care of it. So I uh, put a fire in there. River and I did some, uh, you know, cooking over the fire for lunch today. And while it's been burning, I've been, uh, you know, watching it. it we, we just had a bunch of rain yesterday, so I'm not really that worried about, uh, you know, the fire spreading around. But, you know, you want to be present for, uh, for a fire. So I've been here and just feeding it uh, scrap wood. There's a bunch of scrap wood over here. Uh, and, uh, you know, kind of prepping the area. Uh, there's going to be a row where there's going to be uh, four uh, columns between each of these in the front and the back. And they're going to be right along this line here. I've been kind of working on where there's going to be another one, it's, it's got to be right around here because there's a, a giant root that's like over a foot thick here. Um, it's not going to be on that side of the root, so it's going to be over here. The posts uh, in the middle are a little bit more forgiving than the posts at the, uh, the corners. Um, uh, the, it's going to be a similar construction to what we did on the house where there's these kind of uh, trusses uh, that, that go along the structure. There's going to be two on the ends and then four in the middle. And you want the, the trusses to pretty much line up with the supporting posts, but they could be off a little bit here and there. There's going to be a two, uh, a set of two, um, uh, two by sixes pressure treated that are going to go along all the posts uh, vertically like this. So, you know, if I need to kind of put the trusses a little bit off to one side or the other, that's okay. But the ideal is that about every three and a third foot feet, there's going to be another uh, post here and there. And again, uh, you know, they can, they can dance along the, uh, the, row, uh, the run here, but at the corners it really had to be pretty specific uh, because the whole thing is going to be uh, 17 feet by, uh, I think it's 17 feet one inch <laughs> per the vote of the ground and where the boulders were, and uh, it's going to be uh, uh, 7 feet 6 inches, 7 feet 6 inches uh, deep. So yeah, it's been a long day and I'm sweaty, and the bugs haven't been too bad because of the fire, but uh, I, uh, it just seemed like just a moment ago it was 2 o'clock, and then I just went in, and it's 6 now. So apparently four hours just flew by, and uh, I'm late for starting dinner. So I'm going to let that die down, put some water on that, put it thoroughly out, and then do dinner. And then tomorrow, repeat. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.